Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Stone Hearth. We are now on Alpha 10. The previous episode was of Alpha 9, and unfortunately I didn't have the time to record additional content afterwards, so we didn't really get to see too much of the new uh, Alpha 9 stuff. Um, however, during the time when I was busy, Alpha 10 came out. Uh, I'm still on the latest development version, by the way, which apparently they put that version in bit information down below. It's develop 2387, apparently. Um, you can also see that on the top left here because I'm looking at the patch notes. Alright, so what what has changed in Alpha 10 uh, from Alpha 9 and the previous ones? Well, let's see, we have uh, Water, the first installment of. Lakes now spawn in the world and water behaves rationally as the terrain is deformed. There's still a lot to do here, rivers improvements of the simulation, swimming and the ability to use water as a resource. Okay. Uh, building improvements. The building system has gone through a major upgrade. This is a work in progress. Expect bugs and unfinished features. Alright. Uh, you can now create multi-story buildings using the slab, grow walls, and grow roof tools. This is especially buggy at the stage of the apple. Feel free to try it out. Okay. Uh, the road and building design uh, designers have been merged into a new GUI. Okay. Uh, her things are smarter about building shapes created out of slabs. Alright. Uh, many more building patterns not yet implemented, voxel editing tools, proper roofs for multi-story buildings, etc. Fair enough. Uh, combat improvements. Part 2 of the Goblin Campaign. Wolf Raiders. Send your things to free the wolves from their cages before the trainer can turn them on you. Ah. Uh, Goblin Camp Boss and Associate Minions are now properly armed and buffed. Wandering Undead now spawn at night. Um, really? Uh, UI improvements. Building Editor Redesign. It's now much easier to place and build buildings based on templates. Uh, new menu GUI. We can use menu options to make more sense. Some hotkeys have changed. Good to know. And this is in UI. Clicking a row will not focus the camera on that earthling. Uh -huh. uh, in the embark screen, show star ratings for vegetation, wildlife, and minerals. Uh, let's see. Performance improvements. Uh, AI Stone Hearth can now handle many more earthlings, thinking and working at the same time. That was definitely an issue. Uh, Three, four episodes back, I guess, something like that, when uh, we ended up getting the double start of uh, her things, and the game could. You could notice a slight issue with that. So it's good news. Uh, mining large regions and building long roads takes much less CPU time. Ah. And reduced batch counts for 3D rendering. I'm not exactly sure what that means in this particular context. Uh, there are some known issues, however. Uh, altered requirements, uh, requirement equations for new citizens. Da, 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 da. Uh, we have identified some memory leak introduced in Alpha 9, which makes Stone Earth use an incredibly large amount of memory the longer you play. This will definitely be fixed before Alpha 9 t uh, and uh, before Alpha 10 ships, but there uh, is still. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I am messing up my words horribly, but it's still there as of the current build. Holy crap. Uh, let's get a message on Steam. I don't know if that's actually getting captured or not. I don't think it is. Uh, the water simulation is incomplete and designed to error when running into an unimplemented geometry. Aha, uh -huh. good to know. Uh, sometimes her things will build floor rows before the area has been properly mined out. Uh, her things sometimes fall through the scaffolding when it's modified out from underneath them. Um, build a tiny ladder in the hole for the foundation of buildings, which never gets destroyed. Uh, returning trader and counter text does not show time correctly. Uh, immigration currently limited to 20 earthlings. Ah, we'll raise cap with performance optimization. It's good to know. So there's a currently a, uh, a, a cap then on earthlings on how many can have. It's 20. Good to know. Uh, bug fixes. Earthlings used to have difficulty mining out ceilings when already underground. They will now reserve stepping stones to allow them to reach and remove ceiling blocks. <clears throat> uh, floating trees are fixed. Good. Uh, enemy camps no longer spawn uh, astride the cliffs. Um, we actually saw that in the previous episode with that uh, goblin camp. Like part of it was over the edge of the cliff. It, it looked kind of silly, but you know it's a alpha game. And uh, altered requirement equation for nooses. Oh wait, it's under both the bug fixes and no issues. Good to know. So, uh, with Alpha 10, the Kingdom of Gold side is no longer a compatible version uh, for the game, so we'll have to create a new area. Oh! 
Oh, hey. We can actually see the water here now. Um, I'm going to assume this blue is water. If not, I don't know what the heck a blue could stand for. And I see they have changed the star system to actually an icon-based system. That That is... I like that, actually. Like, right here, we have a ton of trees and plants. Wildlife, eh, maybe not so great, but the minerals... Minerals are the poorest. Whereas, if we get bit... Like, right here, we have little... Little or no wildlife. Quite a few trees in the area, and quite a few minerals. Or, you know, like, over in the wetlands, we just have all the minerals. Not a fan of the, how the maps look, so... So, let's be roll. Kind of take a look around here, though, and just kind of get used to maybe... Like, okay, okay, this is water. Um, it just says wildlife here. Also, is it possible to get to a 3 or 4 rating on the wildlife? Like, is that a thing? Foothills... I, I haven't seen it go above 2. I've seen it go from 0 to 2, that's it. That's an interesting map, by the way, but not interesting enough. To the next one! Uh, the, the, this generation process, by the way, is... Probably one of the slowest things about this game right now. I, thankfully, it's it's uh, a one-time thing. So like the the time you spend doing this is only a one-time thing. Um, I wouldn't have minded this map, but there's just a bit too much water. There we go. I think we found a map we could work with. Um, let's go there. Let's, let's embark there. How oh, the world generates. I can take a sip of coffee. Did that say indexing bugs? Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. Indexing bugs. Experiencing higher math. Escaping realism. Inflating trees. Diversifying gender, sharpening right angles, and flighting trees. Experiencing higher math. Accumulating a bandage. Splining re wait, what? What? Confabulating childhood? What? <laughs> uh, I got some new information on the screen here, too, about the camera and stuff. So here's the water. Um. Come on, mouse. Hey, behave yourself. That looks interesting. Uh, we got a nice little open area here. We weren't too far from the mountain edge then. Um, let's actually orientate ourselves this way. We'll have plenty of space up here to do all the building that we want. Yeah, I think this area is a good spot to start. Uh, let us go ahead and take the name Goldberg. <clears throat> What's more? Oh, hey, icon art. Ooh. So this is our overview button. You can see our stats here. Then we got our citizens, our hearthlings. Uh, then it's harvest. Harvest plants. Huh. I would like for you guys to harvest all. Uh, and then we got an option to mine. Um, cancel task. Ah. Okay. So they'll uh, they'll they'll mine that out eventually. Apparently I cannot cancel that after having told them to. Interesting. Uh, we can designate zones, it looks like. With the new mouse. Uh, we'll make, make a zone here. 20 by 15. Uh, general stockpile. Let's see, let's make another one uh, 10 by 15 there. 
Just another all-purpose stockpile will be nice. Uh, fight and defend, what do we have here? Loot. Uh, town defense. And parties. Okay, so that hockey is still R. Um, we can go ahead and place a building. Design building. We can go directly to designing a building. I see. So they put the roads into one UI here. Uh, what is this? Walls. Okay. What is this? Wood wall. Wall. Click to place freestanding wall segments. Ah, oh, okay, so you can actually wall off your, your place. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, I guess we can go for the... Oh, wow, there's a lot more colors to choose from for the roads, too. Oh, ooh. like this. Let's go for our central road, like we normally do. Alright, you know what? I'm actually going to design um, the, the overall layout and whatnot uh, off camera. Uh, just so you guys don't have to watch it again. Just so we can actually get to the meat of something. Um, if there is something that comes up, like a goblin attack, whatnot, uh, I'll record that. But uh, for this, I'll, I'll I'll do all the designing off camera, just because we've been doing it for so many episodes now, and we haven't really gotten past it because of uh, the updates and whatnot. But uh, I shall be right back. Well, as I was still designing the road, a goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into town. Uh, he wants six oak logs and 45 dripper logs. Okay, that is fine. I will satisfy you guys for that. Uh, it's actually not too big of a demand, which is a good thing. Still having issues with my mouse, as always. Um, but actually, since so we are back, mo at least momentarily, with the mouse that doesn't want to cooperate. Come on, mouse. Mouse, why? There we go. Uh, I, I wanted to zoom out far enough for a good design idea of what the roads look like this far. Um, this one should give me plenty of space to start out with. Um, I was thinking some houses over here by the uh, lake or pond. I guess you could call that a pond. Uh, some houses over here. Uh, some houses up here. Uh, some over here as well. Uh, and then like the workshops and whatnot over here, and then maybe some more over here, workstations and whatnot. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, and probably farms and stuff over this way, uh, and then like a trapper you know, over here. Uh, maybe another one over here as well. Um, that's generally what I'm thinking of at the moment. Oh, I gotta stop hitting that button. Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue designing that road and uh, figuring out where exactly I want everything uh, again. So, right back. Alrighty, I've told them to start building the road. Um, I wanted to maybe see if I was doing this wrong on camera or what. Uh, let's tell that we're finished editing and then remove it. Um, I am trying to make the first building, which I wanted to be like so um, essentially being uh, three 10 by 10 squares that is 10 by 10 is it not it is it is um okay so we got the floor there I go to the walls here and it says click a floor plan to add walls it's not letting me click that because I, I I don't know if it doesn't count that as a a floor plan or what. Um, as far as where this layer and this layer are identical, I, I mean I could try that. Oh, that one works, but that one does not. 
heck is that about? What is that about? Why does that one work, but that one doesn't? Huh. I, I, uh, I honestly don't know. But, uh, if that is the case, um, might be a little bit of an issue with that. Uh, something because the walls would have to be around this and the floor would have to be up one. And that's not how I want it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll have to end the episode here, though. It'll be a shorter episode uh, than I would probably like, but, uh... Oh, no. I uh, might wait for another uh, development update before moving forward. Look at my body. Stop it. <clears throat> uh, plus, we gotta let them finish um, building the road so they can take a bit of time. Uh, but I, I will continue to see if I can photo with it uh, off camera and get some designs going and start building it just so we can uh, proceed into the newer content of the game. Until next time, guys. Take it easy.